I don't know what I did with the mallet. Here it is. It's here, it's here. <clears throat> oh, I tried to learn how to uh, do the singing bowl this weekend. Um, gosh, why is There's a face mask. A face mask. <sighs> My face mask has some good mojo to it. Okay. Let's see if I can... Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that either. So Jade back on the middle finger, it didn't want to be there. Okay. <laughs> bah! Jade wants to be on a pointer. Alrighty. reading is for Aquarius. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Aquarius? Aquarius coming in.
The Four of Pentacles is the present situation, and this card is Icarus and Daedalus, and Daedalus is holding his pentacles tightly, his coins, and looking after Icarus as he learns <clears throat> his new skills. And this card is the card meaning apprentice as a present situation, the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands is an upsurgence of creative energy. Okay, there's a creative project that's new or you don't have the creative project yet going. So it's creating some kind of uh, block, some obstacle in the current path. It's like a, a new idea about work is is creating that obstruction and then on the surface we've got rebirth and renewal with the um judgment card on the surface the hermes is in the underworld and it means that there's a rebirth a death and rebirth an ending and a rebirth a re, um, renewal there is in the unconscious, we have the Eight of Swords. This is Orestes in, encircled by, or encased or entrapped by the swords, the Eight Swords, while the fates are plaguing his thoughts, and Apollo is looking on, um, keeping watch. In the unconscious, this is nightmares or bad dreams negative thoughts in the past we have two of swords this is Orestes with his parents and they're holding swords and he's got his hands behind his head like he it, he doesn't know what to do it's almost like he's throwing his hands up in the air saying you know I, I know I need to make this decision I don't want to make this decision Two of Swords in the past. In the in the near future, we've got Temperance, and this is showing. I can't remember what Ice Iris, I think her name is Iris. The goddess and. It's a meaning of bliss and happiness, and in the near future, there's emotional stability. And then there is a loss of trust in a love um, journey, person, faith and love is in question. But all is not lost. This is the five of cups where four cups are spilled on the ground and one is left standing. The four of wands. This is how others view the situation. There is a success in this card. This is a card where Jason is accompanied by his team and Theseus and or Orpheus are both on his um, journey with him and it is the four of wands his Gemini is holding the Geminis are holding wands Castor and Pollock are in this um, there's another um, figure represented in a, uh, in it I can't think of who it is right now they're all holding their, their wands and, and their flaming torches. A hope in fear is the Ten of Cups. We've got Psyche and Eros in their final union. 
their marriage is concrete. They've made a commitment. And then the final outcome, we have the Empress. This is Demeter harvesting wheat and she's with child. And in this reading, it is a uh, final outcome of fertility, child, a, a child um, pregnancy, a new business. birth of a child, the birth of a relationship, the birth of a home, a new home, could even mean garden, it could bring the season for growing, harvesting and growing and planting, planting and harvesting, Planting and growing and harvesting. Hmm. This reading is for Pisces. What is in store for the Pisces? What do the spirit guides have in store for Pisces? Pisces. Pisces is receiving small rewards at work, gifts or acknowledgement for the tasks that he's completed and he's successful with the current um, job situation. <clears throat> it's a happy, fruitful time. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is education or knowledge, and she is creating a path in this reading. An obstacle. A path. She's creating an obstacle in the path. I'm I'm tired. I'm definitely tired. <laughs> I'm so tired that like I lost track of what time it was and then said, oh, it's 11 o'clock. I haven't done my reading. I'm an hour late <laughs> and ready to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, so we've got, oh, oh, start yawning now. The, uh, the, on the surface is the page of wands and I probably should look up the name of this character but I won't be able to pronounce it <laughs> this is a, a young child riding Jason's golden fleece through the air while the sun is rising I'm not sure if the sun is rising. I think the sun is rising. And um, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of creative thoughts that are flying in at the present time. It's like, how can I get a hold of these? You know, do I need to pay attention to this <laughs> at all? It's like the king of pentacles in, in the unconscious. That's King Midas as a dream like um in the past we've got the magician the magician is in the past in the near future we've got a virgo coming in with the knight of pentacles our virgo and our scorpio represented here in the Queen of Cups, is coming in to the journey. The Oh, wow. Others can see 
this Leo as an important guide and person or friend to have at this time. And then we've got the, oh, let's see. This is the Eight of Cups, where Psyche is walking alone on her path away from the relationship, away from the Eight Cups that are stacked so nicely in place in the background. And it's a dark card. It's a it's at night, and it is a hope and fear of loss in love. heartbreak there's seven of wands as a final outcome and this is a this is this is Jason fighting Theseus in a in a a combat with their their wands they're both carrying their wands so this is a conflict it's an even um playing field type of conflict or struggle as a final outcome it's like you can do it alone you can win that um struggle or defeat whatever is coming by your own skills with your own mind with your own knowledge this reading is for Aries what do the spirit guides have in store for Aries Aries coming in. Oh. Aries coming in and falling out right here. Like. It's like. <laughs> it's like. The Aries is like, this is it. <laughs> it's like saying, he's like saying, this is, this is my time. This is my win. You don't have control over my win. You can't read the cards for me. <laughs> you, you can't read the cards for me because I don't need it. I don't want it. <laughs> You better try something else. Try something else for the Aries. As long as the Aries doesn't want to bog their partner down, the pairing of these two powerful and dominating temperaments can yield excellent results. What is it? The pairing of what two? With a with oh uh, Aries with Aries. Um, what are we looking at? What else? Um, fierce and energetic. It's well known that Aries are confident and energetic. They're always honest and genuine regardless of their opponents and they follow the rules. They follow the rules however their competitive spirit is so strong that they make fierce opponents. Their objectives are detailed and transparent. Their outspokenness is often blunt and clearly ref reflects intentions, their intentions. If someone decides to build a wall in front of them, despite their warnings, Aries will stop at nothing to win. 
Okay. <clears throat> Given their occasional blunt honesty, Aries can sometimes cause tension and irritation. This may come off as a malicious uh, as malicious, it may come off as malicious, but that's only their competitive instinct taking over. Moreover, many Aries often work in politics where they are rivals, where there are rivals galore. They love competition. Despite their inclina inclination to want to control and win everything, Aries should consider others' feelings too. This can help resolve or outright prevent many conflicts. Mm. Oh, my pack is full. <sighs> I can't stay with any of the zodiac signs very long. I can't. This reading is for Taurus. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Taurus? The Taurus is having a conflict right now in the present situation. There's a fight happening. A decision between right and wrong is creating an obstacle in their path. In the Eight of Swords, we have negative thoughts on the surface of the situation. In the Unconscious, we have the, the Five of Swords. This is Apollo handing Orestes his swords. This is a good sign of positive thoughts and wisdom being given. This is the Queen of Cups. In the past, we have a Scorpio. Oh, dear. The Scorpio is in the past. In the near future is temperance. This is bliss coming in for the near future. Emotional security, emotional balance, stability. A win at work or um, with a creative project coming to um, four of wands it's, it's the almost the beginning of the oh, 
it's almost the beginning, but it's the end of a long process of um, getting to have all that you need. <sighs> The sun, the sun, others see this situation or this Taurus as love and light. There's love and light all around. There's this beautiful flow of emotions. In the Three of Wands, we have this is Orestes presenting his crown to Jason, and it's a Three of Wands, and it means that there's reward for a creative idea or project or um, imagination. Some. Generosity is here too. And the Page of Swords, I think it's called Zephyrus. The page, the name of the page. The boy is riding a, a cloud and holding a sword and his hair is flying like all of the pages no not all of them some of them don't come in so quickly when it comes to the intellect and your wisdom it it's coming in fast as a final outcome <clears throat> Oh, I still have to fix this. Someone told me what was wrong with the disappearing text. And I have to turn some I have to turn a button off. Wow. Oh, I didn't I haven't fixed it. And I have to upload some old videos. Now what am I thinking of? Ge Gemini? This reading is for Gemini? What do the spirit guides have in store for the Gemini? There is a loss of uh, the five of cups is on the is in the present situation. It's at a time when this love affair is under stress. It's under strain. It's it's strained. The your love life is on the present situation. In the present situation. In the present. A hermit, the hermit is crossing a card, um, is a crossing card and the obstacle in the journey, it's that <clears throat> isolating in your cave kind of behavior. The two of swords on the surface of the situation is a decision, a moral decision that's neither right or wrong, but it needs to be made. In the unconscious, there's a desire for money, a desire to take a risk with money.
In the past, we had a decision coming in fast. The chariot. Okay, this is a this is a, a moral decision. This is this has to do with what's on the surface as well. This 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 decision that the Gemini is uh, kind of running from or trying to steer clear of, it's it can't be overlooked. And then there's a win in the in the near future. There's a reward for. Um, having your skills and knowledge and plan it's a uh, okay where one finds oneself is the f with you have um my furnace I'm hearing my furnace this is where one you might find yourself needing assistance from someone who's a little bit more knowledgeable than you someone who can look out for you or look after you or help you with this this problem here that we're we're coming in contact with a there's the this Gemini is going through a rough time it looks like a rough time for the Gemini the eight of swords is um the views of others and others see this either they're being negative toward this Gemini um and the Gemini has some some uh, there's some boundaries that need to be established. That's what I, how I would definitely interpret that. Um, the Seven of Pentacles and the hope and fear is money coming in for your skills, but you already have money and you're not really sure if the, if it, if, if you need to take on this new job that might seem out of your comfort zone. <sighs> Taking a job that you're not comfortable with, I don't know. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. As a final outcome. This is the meet initial meeting. This is Psyche and Eros when they meet each other. And Eros... Cupid trips over his he stumbles he's supposed to go to kill her she's trapped on a rock I forget what she did why she she had to be sacrificed or something I don't remember but she's so beautiful that he he stumbles and pricks himself with his own arrow and falls in love with a mortal woman That's the initial meeting of someone, a relationship, like a new um, relationship in the final outcome. This reading is for Cancer. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Cancer? Cancer. <clears throat> if I say I don't know, it's just because these are general readings for the collective. And I don't have an actual person here to have a session with, to, you know, um, 
help directly to help narrow down what things are two of pentacles in the present situation for the cancer is a new skill learning a new skill taking up a new hobby The Nine of Cups as a crossing card is blocking your path. This is a union. This is a love journey. Your love card is crossing your path, creating an obstacle here. Oh, we don't like to see judgment in the reading. It's the, the, the end, judgment day on the surface of the present situation. The Ace of, Sen of Swords is in the unconscious. In the past, we have the Page of Wands. In the near future, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is when Orestes is sneaking into the city after he has killed his mother and he's, he's alone, he's in the dark, he's guided by moonlight, but covered and shadowed with a hood and it's a card meaning a secret there's a secret in the near future for the cancer where one finds oneself is happiness in your love life it's like they've got to go through hell before they get to heaven like in real life like The Knight of Pentacles, this represents a Virgo coming in and stability and money and happiness and feeling grounded. The Two of Cups is a hope and fear and that is falling in love. In the Queen of Cups, we have a Scorpio as a final outcome. This reading is for Leo. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Leo? Leo coming in. In the present situation, this Leo is having a big, big problem. It's not a money problem. Although loss of money could be the result of it. 
It's not a problem with love. The love life, it's not a problem with the love life. It looks like it's a problem. It's almost like if you were a teacher, this would be having a problem with the school board. If, that, if you can take that as an analogy. The tower is crossing your path. That is the destruction of old ways. Or actually it's destruction of the status quo. It's like things have changed. And you have to be flexible to get to get through it and you're you're good with the work that you're doing and the money that you're making and you're competent we have the eight of pentacles this is daedalus he's working at his bench his his money his coins are at his feet um kind of not really all organized you know but they're there it's like it could be better but it's okay. In the unconscious, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Taurus. A Taurus. In the, in the past, we've got the Page of Swords. That's a inkling of an idea. In the near future, we've got Strength. This is Hercules killing a lion it means that this is a time that's going to be it's going to be um, a time where you need your physical body to be healed it's a it's a card for self-care and health it's a time to be healthy coming in in the near future. And you'll find yourself making a decision in love with the lover's card. We've got Paris, and he is holding a golden apple. He's holding a golden delicious apple. <laughs> and whoever he gives the apple to, Hera, Aphrodite, or Athena, is going to um, mean that what he chooses in love is what he chooses. <laughs> Whether the world likes it or not. <laughs> the emperor. Um, this is Zeus. And he's a symbol of power. And this is the views of others. So it looks like Your power is, is definitely being challenged. And um, others see it. Others see you having difficulty. But you have a lot of people here on your side. And I wouldn't doubt it if there's more people coming in here in this reading. And the fear and hope is an upsurgence of love and opening your heart. Oh, wow. Gorgeous temperance is the final outcome. We have emotional stability, love, happiness. It is a beautiful time as a final outcome. I suppose it could be a student struggle with um, not the not the material that they're learning, but an actual like professor. 
his style or something. Like, <clears throat> okay. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking too much about the Leo, and this reading is for Le uh, the Virgo. Your Virgo. What did the spirit guides have in store for the Virgo? I'm still thinking about the Leo. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the Leo's reading. The Leo is on the surface in the present situation. Shoot. something uh, something's like oh you, you need to clear clear it wow oh my word This reading is for Virgo here. We're going to the the published book. This book. <sighs> Trustworthy and honest. The friends of Virgos know that they are always that they always have a shoulder to lean on. Virgos are present through thick and thin. They're trustworthy and give great advice because their analytical mind because of their analytical mind. If their friends don't follow their advice, they won't make a big deal about it. But it's usually wise to listen to them. Virgo na natives are no are no hypocrites and hate secrecy so although they give great advice they'll never tell the loved one what they want to hear although sometimes harsh this transparency is very useful their critical mind is very sharp even annoying at times but still realistic Virgos are excellent friends, as they are loyal and present. They know how to respect others' privacies while still paying attention to them. They do anything for a friend and would never forget a birthday. When it comes to friendships, they prefer quality over quantity. Cancers and Scorpios get along best with Virgos because of their serious sides.
this reading is for Libra. What did the spirit guides have in store for the Libra? Libra energy. secret on the surface there's a present situation where you're keeping something from someone else you think you're smarter than that other person or smarter than whoever it is you're you're dealing with and kind of ooh ah uh, you may be doing some immoral activity in the in In the unconscious, you want to be good. <laughs> In the past, there was a complete destruction of the old ways or your patterns or something came to a fall, to an end. In the near future, you, this is a card for a smooth trip, a, an easy journey. Uh, you'll find yourself needing self-care. You need to nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're sleeping right. Exercising correctly. Uh, you've got the Knight of Pentacles as a Virgo. As a, a view of others. Others, <sighs> others see you as a upright stable, sturdy, grounded individual. And then a hope and fear is power with the emperor. Your final outcome is the world. This is a twin flame, a soulmate. Um, constantly renovating there's a rebirth there at the at the final outcome there's a lot of uh, there, a, a lot of major arcanas and they all had to do with um like an ending and a beginning it's like we're going there's a lot of motion there's a lot of movement happening there's a lot of <clears throat> Hmm. Oh. Not a lot of planning. This reading is for the Scorpio. Whoa. This reading is for Scorpio. Hey, what do the spirit guides have in store for the for the Scorpio? The Scorpio. Got 
problems here. It seems like this is just the 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 what are you crux of the situation? The the this loss of faith and love. This we 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 need to have faith and love and trust and love and love each other I'm getting uh, notifications here okay the hope of the true love or the soulmate is not in question in the in the in the cards for this Scorpio. This soulmate idea is not happening for the Scorpio. The twin flame is is that that's not going to help your um, desire for love. You have a project that's come to completion on the surface of the situation. And that is um, bringing public acclaim as well. In the past, we had successful uh, finances. Your um, money was secure. You had enough in the past. In the unconscious, there's more nostalgia over love. Um, and then in the near future, this journey is over. And you're stepping into... Oh, negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. But others see it as very fertile and very um, happy. A very happy time for you. Um... This, these negative thoughts, they could also, this card could also represent a bad dream. So, we need dreams. We need to sleep and have dreams. It's a really restful sleep. And it's very important for the brain to have that type of REM sleep. But... And, you know, uh, sometimes we have bad dreams and we remember them or nightmares. This is a hope and fear is a happy family. The Ten of Pentacles, the happy family. And then we have the final outcome as a Leo. Leo babies are August. This reading is for Sagittarius. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Sagittarius? Tell us about the Sagittarius. The Eight of Wands is the present situation. This is a happy journey. A safe journey. Hi there. Hi there. Hi 
there's a secret that's creating a problem and blocking your path. The secret. We have the emperor on the surface. That's power. <laughs> Opie flipped over Hercules. My goodness. Strength is in the past. Strength is in the past. In the unconscious, the hermit. Lots of major arcana cards here. The Knight of Pentacles coming in the near future. That's the Virgo. And the Capricorn is coming in as well. The Ace of Swords, where others view this situation as you needing more knowledge. Needing to use your knowledge wit two of pentacles is where hope and fear <laughs> the hope and fear is a a new skill a new trade a hobby a new hobby learning something new and then a final outcome is having the knowledge that you need is for Sagittarius. No, this reading is for Capricorn. That was the reading for Sagittarius. This is for Capricorn. What do the spirit guides have in store for the Capricorn? The Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus on this present situation. The Queen of Swords is creating a problem that's an Aquarius. There's a Taurus in this, in the present. For our Cappy and then another person that is creating an obstacle. There's alcoholism. The devil is on the surface. And then in the unconscious, there's a, a feeling of emotional exhaustion, physical exhaustion. In the past, the Ace of Swords was bringing in a strategic wisdom. In the near future, the Three of Pentacles rewards for work. And then finding yourself with a promotion, probably. Looks like a promotion here. Others see it as a vacation. And then a hope and fear of having to make some type of decision that that is coming in fast. The need for that control over that situation. 
the Four of Pentacles as a final outcome. This is the apprentice. There's a teaching someone a skill. Uh, teaching someone as a final outcome. Okay. All right, I'm going to head out. Thank you.